Hey guys, I'm back. Man, let me tell you, spring quarter ended up being a struggle. Then after that, we had one week off for our summer break. Then we jumped right back into it as fourth years. So I am officially a fourth year and I am starting my last year of naturopathic medical school. Being a fourth year means that I have more responsibilities in the clinic. So now I have four clinic shifts and basically I have to be a primary student clinician for a majority of the patient cases that I take. So let me tell you about my summer schedule. Now, just a reminder, if you guys haven't seen my previous videos or if you have and forgot this, the summer after your first year is technically, like you don't have any mandatory classes. So you are free to travel if you want, go home or stay and do electives. The summer after your second year and this summer, so the summer after your third year as well, are mandatory. And you're also in the clinic. So you can't miss that if you do miss clinic shift and this is just in general you have to find someone to cover that shift this week is actually the first week back in summer quarter and this quarter on mondays i have medical procedures two and if you take medical procedures one the summer of your third year so last summer i took this and it's just teaching you about basic medical procedures this is everything from universal precautions clean techniques iv therapy injections this quarter we're learning how to suture actually we jumped right into it on the first day of med procedures I learned how to do a simple interrupted suture then on Tuesdays I have clinical pharmacology 5 and advanced case studies 4 and I think these are both the last um, of the series for those courses because we had those all third year throughout third year so now it's finally coming to an end so these are our last courses for that and just a reminder even though we have these classes specifically for pharmacology we are still talking about them and in our lecture courses when we're going over different conditions and the treatments for those both conventional and naturopathic we are also reviewing the pharmaceutical interventions as well as any other conventional therapies that you would use for that specific disease or condition. And then I end Tuesdays with a clinic shift from 5 to 9 p.m. So Wednesdays I'm back in the clinic bright and early and then I have a lunch break and then I go back from 1 to 5. Thursday mornings I have an integumentary system class which I am super excited about because I've never told you guys this before but I want to focus on skin when I'm out, um, specifically natural aesthetics. So I'm very excited to go over all the conditions, all the skin conditions and the treatments, both conventional and naturopathic. After that, in the afternoon, I have a botanical medicine formulation lab. And this is another one of those courses where we've had multiple bot med formulation labs. So this is actually our last one. And then I have clinic shift 5 to 9 p.m. So Thursdays are actually pretty long, uh, but that's okay because Fridays I don't have class. Anytime I have free time, like that's what I've started kind of like trying to train myself to do is prep for patients. What do I need to know? What do I need to research? Do I have any additional clinical questions or concerns that I need to look up before I go into shift the next week so that I'm prepared? Also, um, using my free time to obviously study and review classes. And it's really weird because first and second year are pretty crazy. You're learning such a large amount of information in a small period of time. And it's so different from third and fourth year because you start transitioning more into the clinic and then you're having less time in the classrooms. Um, and obviously less lectures. It's pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. I This is like what I've been waiting for ever since I started naturopathic medical school is like seeing the patients, you know? So now that I have this basic foundation and I learned all these tools and skill sets and proper treatments for the various conditions, I can now bring that into the clinic and it's so exciting. So if you're just starting out, don't worry, it gets better, trust me. So I just wanna do this short, or like recap of what's been going on because yeah I had to take like a little hiatus away from YouTube figure out things for myself and get settled in with this transition from third year to fourth year I have to say like every time I've been checking YouTube though because I do get the notifications still and I see that people have been subscribing and following me and I think that's so awesome I love you guys thank you for the support and to all my old subscribers thank you for sticking around while I've been gone <laughs> I am hoping to get back on a regular schedule this quarter now that it's not as bad as third year was. 
so that I can give you guys more information and I want to try to update weekly more of what it's like as a student clinician because I'm in the clinic more than I am in the classroom so that's what I want to do I want to start talking more about skin stuff because that's really what I want to focus on it's becoming a passion of mine and I also want to do videos on the different naturopathic modalities and kind of go more into depth about that so that you guys know and understand what we have to offer to people and of course if you guys have any questions or video topics that you want me to address list them or contact me and let me know and I'll see what I can do okay thanks for watching bye guys Mwah.